was told unto them. That's Dr. Ruth's account of Jesus' birth. Did Dr. Ruth mean obstetrician, Grandpa? I think he meant obstetrician, Susan. I can't really say, but I don't think so. Did you know there's more to the story? Matthew tells us about the wise men's visit. Notice it was wise men, not wise women. That's only because it was probably a wise woman who told her husband to go check it out in the first place. <laughs> yes, indeed. Behind every man there is a wonderful woman. <laughs> Moving right along to the wise men. In Matthew chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east and to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go, and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, Bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, could I bring, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Frankincense to offer have I. Incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising, all men raising, worship him God on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom. Sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone cold tomb. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, sounds through the earth and skies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed to their own country on another route. I wish I could have been there to see baby Jesus and give him a birthday present. I know I love to get presents on my birthday. You can still give him a present, Kelly. But neither Kelly nor I have very much money, Grandpa. 
or it doesn't take money. He wants you to give something of yourself. Tell us more, Grandpa. What he really wants is for you. He wants you to give your heart and to love him and obey him always. That's the best present to, for Jesus' birthday. And what about when we tell our, others about him, like the shepherds did? That's right, Kelly. Every time we tell someone about how much Jesus loves them, it's like giving him a birthday present all over again. And every time we invite someone to Sunday school? It's like lighting another candle on his birthday. Joy to the world. Great idea. We can all join in on this one. Would everybody stand and let's all sing Joy to the World? Page 80 in your hymn. Thank you. 